Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing on the same board today, because this we're playing just over the board, kind of on a board editor. It's called League and Chess. Uh, How do you know it's not Legon? It could be. I'm surprised I mean, they don't give us the IPA on. Um, well, it's it's, it's a name, so it could be... There is probably a, part, a, a correct pronunciation. Um... So it's, it's mostly the starting position, uh, but pawns will promote. Uh, they can barely see that. Uh, pawns promote on A through like D. A through D8. And A8 through A5. Nice. You know, we'll post the link in the, the link it link thing. Basically where all, the, all of our major pieces are. And minor pieces. And minor pieces. All the pieces. <clears throat> I forget. I always forget that we don't <clears throat> technically call pawns pieces. So pawns move like this, and they attack like this. And then that there's no castling, no ambassade. Oh. Uh, promotion are these squares. Alright, and other than that, all the rules of chess. Apply. Wow. Do you want to be black or white? Oh. Alright, black. Start it off. Alright, cool. Oh, didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> so, is there a double move? <laughs> I guess that's the other thing we did look. I don't, I don't know why there would be. Uh, my brain king has it. Ah, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, we're playing a board editor, right? So yeah. is it, it isn't going to tell us... Yeah, but I mean, it would be nice to know the actual rules. Too. Yeah, it absolutely would. Um, yeah, look it up real quick. Uh, okay, games, games, games. You can look game rules. Game rules. Yeah, we get it. It's right there. Right here. Nice. Let's see if this one has. Uh. From France in 1922. Okay, standard rules of chess, Ex with exceptions. So. Oh. Okay, so it just has these exceptions. So it doesn't have the exception of move twice. So I'm guessing that is in there. Yeah. Or I'll assume that it's in there. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Is this fine? <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh, I went out with my family to get some Mexican food for dinner, and oh, this is weird. Okay, so how do pawns attack? Okay, yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. And it takes a hot second to get used to all of this. It's kind of weird to think that my piece can go over there, and but then like never be protected by a pawn. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of, you know, where my pawns are gonna go. So I mean, like this pawn right here, for example, would attack here, or, or move, would move, move there, there and there and attack that way, right? Yeah. Okay. That looks really funny. And then, anyways, so I went with my family to um, went to get some Mexican food, and I learned two interesting things. The first thing I learned that was really interesting was that the local Mexican restaurant has four different locations all over Virginia. 
wild. I, did you know me all these girls had different locations? I thought I only knew one, but I didn't know if it was a... They, they've got one down like in Urbana and in a couple other places as well. That was wild. The second thing is that Travis's dad, I ran into his parents, that was like, <laughs> yeah, I like checkers better. I was like, oh, me too. And he was like, yeah, Travis, he's just too good. I was like, wait, and, say, and, say that again. I was yeah. telling you, I was telling your parents that we were gonna play checker drafts, yeah, and chess tonight. Your dad was like, I like drafts better. <laughs> I was like, yeah, me too. And he was like, yeah, Travis, he's just too good at chess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I'm, it's in comparison, it's, in comparison, comparatively, but. Yeah, I actually really like this variant just because it's so much different. It really takes some... Uh... So would this pawn only be able to attack in this direction, right? Would that direct... Can it also attack that direction? It shouldn't be able to attack backwards. Okay. Oh, so that would be... That, I know that one wouldn't be the case. Would, I'm trying to think of that one. Would this one be considered backwards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure about that. I, d I guess not on that one. This I think it's only diagonally forward. Yeah, there, should, there should be only one way to attack. And I, we, You can't take two at the first turn, right? You can. Okay. I did two with it, that one. I don't. I think it would only be attacked this way. Yeah, I think so as well. That's because that's the direction that you're moving. So if we turn the yeah. board, it would be moving forward. Because that'd be capturing backwards and then going. Are there any more variants like this where they're set up as houses? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who's, whose hand is that on your screen? <laughs> Weird. Um, I, I was kind of thinking of like, uh, 
like with other variants with the starting like because it's a like it's yeah like if three check or king of the mm -hmm. hill or crazy house would work <clears throat> yeah I, w I would imagine that there would be a lot of really cool Ooh, you know it'd be really interesting it'd be really interesting to play a version of this that was horde <laughs> It would like totally change certain aspects. I, I haven't done barely in a horde, but oh. I've been wanting to try that. Um, I somewhat played it like by myself. Uh, but I don't know. I, it, I think it's a little harder for the pawns. Uh huh. I'm not entirely sure because it's what I mean. Barely in a pawns, if anyone doesn't yeah. know, it's uh, instead of moving. It's a B. Straight. Uh, move on Vs and attack. Instead of moving straight, they move either the, or diagonal and attack straight. But the bad thing about that is uh, that pawns can only guard other pawns once, so it's easier to sacrifice a minor piece for yeah. two pawns. But they have more mobility to kind of promote. So, so I found it kind of easier to just um, capture pawns, capture two pawns from minor piece and things like that. Uh, you know, but I, I'm not great. I wouldn't say I'm that knowledgeable with barely enough horde pawns and be able to use them yeah. wisely. Yeah, I don't really practice. You know, what else would be crazy. Maybe we should write to the the dude who codes Zoldsock Green Chess. Um, <laughs> it would be really funny to play Horde with like uh, cricket, the cricket pieces, what, what the cricket pawns. Oh no, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not pawns. Cricket. Yeah. Have you ever the like jumping pieces? Checkers. No. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, are the grasshoppers pawns or are they? No, they're pieces. Mm. Um, it's a fairy piece. That's what they call it. Yeah. Uh, so play what with this? Uh, but are the grasshoppers, are those pawns? Are those fairy pawns? Uh, no, those would uh, be too powerful. I was thinking that they were. Those, you know the cannon in Jiangxi? Yeah, yeah. They're. Oh, that's like, right. They're, they're like queen equivalent. cans. Yeah. They're queen cans. So that's they crazy. do diagonal and uh, orthogonal jumping over one piece to attack the next. <laughs> oh, I guess that's not okay. So you moved here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what if I just like drink the rest of that water?
Yeah, the the setup for this makes the the knights I feel like a little less ineffective than they might otherwise be. What'd you take? You take the bishop, right? Yep. Took your light bishop. So you got the bishop pair and I got the knight pair. Let's see what's gonna happen. What's interesting is I feel like we spent we spent like maybe like ten moves kind of like not really doing anything, and then all of a sudden the board was just like, "Hey, look, I'm almost empty." All right, we're still tired, actually. Yeah, but the board cleared out a lot. <laughs> That's good.
Man, you know those, uh, you know on Leeches they have the, the practice mm. modules you can go through, the ones where it's like the, uh, like, use your king and your bishop mm. to confine the, the, like, last piece to a corner would be really helpful in practicing this variant, I feel like. Uh, fuck, of course. Nice. So I'm curious, why, why did you choose that option over taking my rook with your queen? Uh, I mean, because I messed up again. Because <laughs> I, I was just mad and I just made yeah. a bad move. Do you want to move it back? Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, I lost my queen either way. It's not. Yeah. Uh, yep. Unless, I mean, unless, I guess it's happened before, but unless you blunder the queen. You, you know what? It would not a, be the first time. time I have ever blundered a queen, so... Or two of me in the room, Travis. Don't tell my girlfriend. She'd be, she'd be scared. It's not attacking the bishop, but it's going that Right, way. right. You can't do that. Of course. play this. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Horde would just seem a little difficult for me, though. Yeah, Horde would be crazy with this one.
smelling good. Crazy. Oh, I need practice though, then. League and chess. Yeah, absolutely. We should play this more often. Well, I think uh, we need to find a way to play it over the board. We're yeah, not yeah a absolutely. We're not, uh, do you want to play? Do you want to play again? You can play as white. No, we can go move on to the checkers. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's been league and chess. Uh, a fun chess variant. That... Absolutely. Ten out of ten would recommend. Remember, we got play on the board editor there. Unless you play it on a different website. What was the no, website we were on earlier? Uh, it's, you have to pay to play. So. Ooh, pay to play, no way. So, you do it on Leechester or over the board or, yeah. We'll post the rules everywhere in the video. Stay tuned. Got Thanks. some drafts coming up next. Thanks for watching that one. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time, a.k.a. 15 seconds. <laughs>